Jason Sinatra, Wishmaster, Midway Sports. I live the life, the life, the bright lights, the tight, the crowd lights, where you at, ballers? Ladies love me and men, they wanna be me, they pay to come see me, where you at, ballers? I live the life, the life, the bright lights, the tight, the crowd lights, where you at, ballers? Ladies love me and men, they wanna be me, they pay to come see me, where you at, ballers? Bones flash and the questions they ask, is he confessing at last, it's like a no look bad. Break fast and dash the crash boards I'm facing power forwards and down is how I throw it like I'm Tracy McGrady, I'm crazy with that one ladies And the team that I love is the one that overpay me ladies Love me, they adore and they cheer, they like stack Custom shake boards like Shaq I'm uncontested like free throws and please the game needs so Better check your ankles homie, you gonna need those Cause I'ma shake you down now, shake and bake you down now You are my grass, the crowd to get loud now Better men have found out, tryna guard mine I spot up on baseline, rise and lace for my This house on mine, but I'ma bring it back midway Sinatra and which way, I play like that kid play Alongside Tim Schwartz and Brian Benefitemi, and we're excited for some 2K hoops. Well, when you look over the rosters of these teams, lots of experience. How important is having veterans? Well, experience, as you just mentioned, it takes time and it allows players to recognize offenses, defenses, different sets, different rotations. And you really can't throw anything new at older players. Yeah, and I like how the seasoned veterans are able to help develop younger players. They are huge for any locker room because they can impart a ton of wisdom. Here's Clarendon. McBride outside. Knocks down the three ball. I love how McBride is unafraid of making mistakes, and she really just plays her game and then will live with the results. Here's Diggin Smith. That one's in her first basket of the game. She is one for two. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Outside Clarendon. McBride outside. Mercury with the rebound. You see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket, but not that time. One place Kayla McBride always takes care of business the free throw line. She consistently sinks her foul shots, making the competition pay for every trip to the charity stripe. Now here's Clarendon. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to McBride. Dantas, five to shoot. Here's Clarendon. Reiner with the rebound. Averaging around 90% from the foul line has always kept Kayla McBride among the top WNBA players in that stat. If not at the top, she's ended seasons with a free throw percentage well over the 90% mark. I mean, she certainly is one of the best we've ever seen at the strike. Now here's Clarendon. 
Dantas outside. Pass to Clarendon. Back to Dantas. Collier. Over Nurse. That one off the back iron and out. Phoenix with the ball. Diana Taurasi on the wing. And that comes off the assist by Giannis. They wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're locked in right now, really making the most out of their possessions. I love the game plan for this coach early. Collier defended by Nurse. And now they're one for five to start this game. Having trouble getting it going. Pass to Diggins Smith. Here's Turner. Poke loose. And stolen by Nafisa Collier. Looking to end the drought. And she Nafisa sinks the layout. You just knew she was going to win that race. Boy, got to love that early offense. Super job on the break. Outside, Diggins Smith. The teardrop falls in. Diggins Smith with the shot. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Pass to Fouls. Now here's McBride. Shot clock at six. Sinks that one from the post. Beautifully crafted for maximum efficiency. Two minutes remaining in the first. McBride's a natural playmaker. Now here's Diggin Smith. Clarendon covering. And she was all alone on that one. They've been playing very smart offensively in the first half. I think that's safe to say. The numbers support that. They're shooting much better percentage from the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now here's Collier. That shot off. Nice D from Kia Nurse. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Two count it. Well, they couldn't have dreamed a much better start they've had here tonight. Yeah, they came in with a tremendous offensive game plan. It's worked perfectly, and what a lead they already have to show for it. And you got to give credit to this coaching staff as well. They came into this game prepared perfectly. She certainly has not been at her best this quarter, to, to say the least. Two points. Two that one goes in. It's been a fantastic opening quarter for them. Yeah, I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. This is the start that coaches dream of. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Well, since entering the league, it seems like Skylar Diggins-Smith has been a fixture on the All-WNBA and All-Star teams. On defense, Phoenix, 13-point lead. Fouls, she's guarded by Griner. And here's Dangerfield. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Bantam. Hits the three-point bomb. Bannon. Well, the D sagged off, and no Over. hesitation on her part to rise up and bury the three. Now Petty. Here's Cunningham. An open look for Kia Nurse. Kia and there's another points. one for the Mercury. Yeah, they're 
allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. This just isn't going to cut it if they want a chance at winning this game. Not at all. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. I mean, effort-wise, execution-wise, something. They've got to do better. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to fouls. Do not test Ryder, the active leader in rejections. Why? 6-9 plus timing. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. It's the Mercury. They lead by 12. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return. tightly contested quarter as we move into the second and a very convincing performance from the mercury so far they've come out of the gate strong and put in a solid first quarter a lot of good looks for them on offense so far just quality shots so the links now down by 12 outside of chanwa pass to powers Fouls. To the left wing. Six to shoot. To the paint. Achanwa. Good. Well, when she's in the pick and roll action, Dangerfield looking to get teammates involved. Really an unselfish player. And here is Petty. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Nurse outside. But they'll get another chance. Here's Griner. And there's another one for the Mercury. Always easily above 50% shooting from the floor. Griner is deadly inside. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Fouls down low. Griner's there. Fouls can't hit. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Over to the wing. Cunningham. Hits it from three-point range. All right, when we're talking pure entertainment, who do you guys think is the most fun player to watch in the WNBA? I'm a team first guy, so I love a passing offense. I'll take Courtney Vandersloot. She keeps on breaking her own assist records, and Vandersloot, so she plays with flair, willing to make any pass. Oh, I love watching Courtney play as well, but I really like scoring, so I'm gonna have to go with Kennedy Carter. In the 2020 bubble, she scored 35 against Seattle in a game, becoming the youngest player in league history to score more than 30 in a contest. Here's Cunningham. It's over Powers, and she didn't get quite enough under that one. And here are the links now. A 12-point game. Pass to Dangerfield. To the inside. Fouls can't hit. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. And here's Cunningham. Reiner. That one rolling around and rims out. The 2020 Rookie of the Year, Crystal Dangerfield was the lowest draft selection to ever win the award. Now here's Powers. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Yes, it's good. How many difficult shots has Fowles made in her career? Just an incredible spirit about her game. Not to Time be denied. Called Timeout called the Mercury. Selected in the second round, Dangerfield also led her team in scoring as a rookie, but her role changed in her second season. That's right. Dangerfield moved to the bench early on in the season. And while that would be tough for some, Dangerfield has accepted the role. She thrives in that six women role, and that speaks to her maturity, showing that she could be effective starting her off the bench.
Banks on D. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Now here's Diggin Smith. Clarendon covering. Free throw line jumper. Here's Greiner. Uses the glass to finish the layup. With a wingspan of over seven feet and three inches, Greiner's got mad length, and she really knows how to use it. Now here's Dantas. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. And she's going for the alley-oop. Just five on the clock. And a fast break now for the Mercury. Pass to Griner. Outside, Diggin Smith. Tarasi, McBride covering. Now here's Nurse. Defense is right there, and a shot goes in. You see why Nurse operates way more than your average guard inside. It's not just her height, it's also the mentality. Now here's a Chanla. Clarendon. Here's Collier. And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. Here's Smith. She's guarded by Dantas. Side. She's got six. Megan Smith's shot is off. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone. She kind of short armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Bucket is good. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Dantas. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And again, no good by Minnesota. Tarasi, McBride covering. To the middle. The shot. Reiner, no good. They have a very long way to go to get within sight of the lead. And Blake, from what we've seen so far, if I were you, for your health, don't hold your breath. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a very bad idea. Here's Smith. 16-point lead, the largest margin of the game. Pass to Nurse. Smith. Diana Tarasi on the wing. From deep. Rebounded by Nafisa Collier. Outside of Chanwa. Here's Clarendon. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Mercury, up by 16. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. See if that changes. Nice game. Great performance by Skylar Diggins Smith. She had the magic touch in terms of setting up her teammates, just a pile of assists for her. Which isn't a very common occurrence for her. You know, typically she's more of a finisher, but that's just not the case in this one. And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Here's McBride. Pass to Dantas. Collier defended by Nurse. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Oh, the, the high degree of difficulty makes him Collier. What an adjustment in body control. Nurse right side. Oh, 
with the floater. And she lays it up and in. Their prowess inside has just been tremendous, guys. It's been no contest on the low block. And really, Brian, until the defense puts up at least some resistance, they ought to just keep pounding them down low. Now here's Dantas. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Oh, you're good. That's good, and it's Asia Clarendon with the assist. Uses every bit of her strength to overpower the defense. Collier does not fear contact. Whenever Nafisa Collier's on the court, she's gonna cause some problems with her defense. I mean, she is a high energy, high level of effort defensive player. Here's Turner, pass to Griner. Makes it off the glass. Well, she shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. You know, like we say, She's been making music all day long. Now here's McBride. He's got five. Collier outside. And she drops it in from the low post. You talk about the defense and effort of Collier. She's never caught flat-footed. She's in constant motion. Absolutely. She's an elite defender, and she can fill that role in different spots on the floor. She draws the toughest assignment on every night, and that's exactly how she wants it. Three for three. That's the way to start the second half. Pass to Collier. Nantes. Now Clarendon. Here's Collier. Over Nurse. And too long on the shot. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. Diggins Smith, Clarendon covering. Now Turner. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. It's outside. Over the ride. And it's Collier with the rebound. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Outside Clarendon. Pass to Collier. Mercury with the rebound. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Nurse with it. Now pulls defending. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. So both teams making some changes here. After suffering a torn ACL in college, I'm excited to see what Turner has in store for her WNBA career. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Here's Dangerfield. Pass to fouls. And here's Bannum. From deep. Second shot opportunity, and the nice bucket inside from Fowles. What a relentless rebounder. Fowles worked so hard to keep possessions alive. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Petty. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Down low, Reiner. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Pass to Powers. Achanwa. Here's Bannum. Fouls with it. Tries again, and she wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Phoenix Not known for her ability outside, Fowles can knock down a shot every now and then. Helps keep the D honest. Now a timeout.
timeout called by Phoenix. And talking about getting no respect. Despite her talent, Dangerfield dropped to the mid-second round of the 2020 draft. Quickly proved that was a mistake. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. And Dangerfield got the respect she deserved, winning Rookie of the Year. And looking to build on that first season, she's been working hard in the gym to polish her game. I view her as one of the bright young talents in this league. Count the basket. Sometimes you look at Brittany Griner and you think she is an unstoppable force. A little bump, it doesn't do anything to stop her. She's so locked in on scoring. Pass to fouls. And here's Bannum. Back to fouls. Rebound by Brittany Griner. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but, hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Now here's Powers. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Inside. And that one's good. Foul. Assisted. Okay. Rachel nice job Bennett. here in the second. Their field goal percentage is way up from the first half, where they shot at a low percentage, just above 30%. And there it is. With an incredible motor, Griner plays with the attitude of someone just trying to make the team, not the all-world superstar she is. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Mercury out in front, up 19. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And we're getting underway in the fourth quarter. That scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things can change. Now Petty. Pass to Griner. Now Turner. Here's Petty. Griner inside. She's guarded by Dantas. Four on the shot clock. Here's Petty. That shot, no good. Now the Lynx take it the other way. McBride with the ball. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. Now here's Tarasi. Out to the wing. And here is Petty. Now Turner. Soft touch off the glass. Another good pass, impressive offensive execution. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Right outside, from past the arc, here's Dantas. Got a hand on it. With the jumping ability, Rihanna Turner can get up there to set shots away. Rossi, left side. Turner with the bucket. And they're really keeping that ball hopping around. Yeah, hip hopping around if you ask me. Look, their last five trips have all ended with a great pass leading to a hoop. They are really sharing the basketball. Here's Dangerfield. Nailed from three-point land. Always looking Three. for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive scheme. Pass to Griner. 
Tarasi. Powers covering. Tarasi with it. Working on Dantas. Some solid defense from Demiris Dantas. Here's Dangerfield. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Zero hesitation from Dangerfield playing off the ball. Confident in her shot. And the Mercury's all time here. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. It's kind of change that game plan as well. Smith with it. Pass to Tarasi. Over McBride. And the basket by Tarasi. An outstanding scorer changes the game with her shooting ability. Tarasi is just so fun to watch. Now here's McBride. Back to Collier. Off the mark there with the three. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It set to tone. Clock at six. Three, Diana Taurasi. Rebound by the Lynx. She hit a couple threes in the first, but so far, just unable to get on fourth here. You don't want to give up that kind of look often. They're very lucky they didn't get burnt. Outside, Diggins Smith. The three is up. The shot, no good. The links go the other way with it. And here's Kayla McBride from the arc. Yes, and it's now Misa Collier picking up the assist. With a smooth touch from outside, McBride's versatility leads defenses pretty vulnerable. Pass to Diggins Smith. And the foul on fouls. Sylvia. That's her first foul. First personal foul. Teams first. First team foul. Here's Diggins Smith. First outside. Tarasi. Reiner. Well, in terms of defense, Fouls might be the best ever in league history. The advanced Two metrics, minutes, they say so, but, but just watching her, she passes the eye test as well. Back to McBride. Call your left side. Fouls. She's guarded by Griner. Just five to shoot. Here's Clarendon. Here's Dantas. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Got to put a body on Dantas. When you don't do this, she's more than capable of grabbing offensive boards. Pass to Tarasi. Reiner with the ball. Nurse with it. There's the three. Comes up empty, and she's now five for eight. To the middle. Back to Clarendon. <laughs> Sixteen feet out. Rebounded by Kia Nurse. 
One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. They double team Brittany Griner. Megan Smith. Clarendon covering. Rossi outside. Shoots over Dantas. And again, Phoenix no good. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Collier outside. And she drops in the layup Collier. off glass. A do-it-all player. I mean, inside, outside. Collier can score from anywhere on the floor. Outside, Diggin Smith. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, and they did a great job of execution, both uh, offensively, defensively, playing in control. When they had a misstep, they got right back to work and made up for it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.